How about this? Morgan, Miss Colorado. And won't she be happy, Lady Miss Pennsylvania? Only one more spot open. One more. And it goes to Susie, Miss Missouri. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present our canine? And before the evening is over, one of these contestants will become the first ever Miss Dog. Now, be honest with me, Jillian. Have you ever seen a more bodacious bevy of beauties? You know what, John? I wouldn't want to be a judge right now. They are nine of the most precious dogs in America. Now they're going to have to show us their stuff. It is time for tonight's first competition, and this will separate the pups from the pros, John. Thank you, and welcome back to the first annual Miss Dog Beauty Pageant. We're making our way through the important talent portion of the competition, and a reminder that this counts for 25% of the total score. So next up, our contestant, the beauty from Colorado. Morgan is a three-year-old Great Dane whose hobbies include fetching and playing in the snow. She's a flower child and a big sister to future Miss Dogs. After a long day in the fields, Morgan looks quite fetching, relaxing in her favorite chair. Beauty will display her athletic agility. Check on the mood backstage, and I'll bet there are many. Jillian? Well, things are buzzing back here as the finalists get ready for the evening gown competition, which counts for 25% of their total score. So we're still not close to crowning an overall winner yet. So stick around. And next up, the contestant from Colorado. Well, Morgan looks gorgeous in a tulip tool skirt top with red satin and red velvet. Again, covered in shimmering red paillettes. And doesn't she have some nice gams on she her, John? sure does. And I would say, if you don't have long legs, you couldn't wear that. Well, I couldn't wear that then, because her legs are longer than mine. <laughs> They're plenty that. fine once again. That's Morgan, Miss Colorado. You may have seen the Miss Dog beauty pageant here on Fox. Tonight, one of the contestants, Fox City was Karen Eden, travels to Fort Collins to meet Miss Colorado. Good girl. Now that the competition's over, life is pretty much back to normal for one celebrated canine. Morgan, the current reigning Miss Colorado, now spends much of her time playing and, uh, well, catching up on her beauty sleep. Life as a beauty queen can be demanding. But man, she went out in that dress and she looked good. Carrie doesn't mind being called a stage mom. Basically, it was judged on beauty, poise, talent, and evening wear. Um, now, they never showed us the scores, and, <laughs> and I'm not sure if they really had that type of scoring system or what. But she says Morgan's not complaining. After all, finishing in the top ten is nothing to bark at, and Mom was actually surprised. But I thought in beauty, you know, she's, she's black, she looks, you know, she's, she's pretty masculine, and I figured, you know, the little puffy dogs, you know, would... Uh, would really win. But even placing in the top 10 took a lot of dedication. Hey, it's not easy being beautiful. There's the lessons, the grooming, the wardrobe fitting. 
And don't forget the talent. She's the number one Great Dane in dog agility in the country. She has been for the past two years. Um, and that's really her specialty. And that's what placed this Fort Collins native in the finals, even if she didn't get the crown. You know, at the end, she went right up to the end of the stage to congratulate Sweet Pea and the, you know, when they were doing the final crowning. So I think she was okay with that. I'm really proud of her. She's a pretty cool dog. Karen Eden, Fox 31 News. Well, Morgan is now training for the Purina, Out Purina Outdoor Challenge, which is in Steamboat Springs this summer. Okay, hazard pay tonight for the photojournalist Libby who shot that story. When Blaine Howerton looked through the lens, he didn't expect to see his subject coming this close. Okay, catch! <laughs> <laughs> well, hello. Okay. Oops. Uh, Blaine was okay, and Morgan was too. Thank goodness. We don't know about the camera. <laughs> Not quite. Oh, check that's it out a great this view that's, here. That's the dog flying shot. through midair just before the collision. That Blaine, he is a tough guy. <laughs> you should, a tough guy. You should see him now. He's got paw prints all over his face. But he lived to talk about it. <laughs> yes, he did. He's okay. <laughs>